Hi everyone, welcome to a new OSINT Curious 10 minute video. My name is Technizet and I will be showing you some tips and techniques on how to retrieve information from our private Facebook profile. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find a private Facebook profile to show you all tips and techniques on. So you will be seeing a couple of different profiles which sometimes show more information than an actual closed Facebook profile. My first suggestion would be to click as many buttons as you possibly can on a profile, because sometimes even buttons that seem like they have no information might contain some interesting information. For example, the button friends, you can see there are no friends displayed here, but if I click on the button, see all, I'll be able to still see all of the people who are following this specific profile. It even shows the search bar here on the top right and you will be able to type in a name of anyone you're interested in. Within a new Facebook design, there is a new search option available on the profiles and it can be found right here, this little magnifying glass icon. It will give you the opportunity to search for any public related information of this specific profile. Once you click on it, a new search bar will appear and you will be able to type in anything you like. My suggestion would be to try their first name, last name, combination of first and last name, maybe a nickname or a username you know your target goes by, or anything else you might think might be related to this profile. Let's just try her first name. We see that it didn't give us any results, so now we're going to try her last name. By trying her last name, we now see three available public posts which weren't visible on her own profile. Now, if you cannot find that little magnifying glass icon on their profiles, it sometimes might be hidden under the three dotted menu on the top right. Just click on it and you will see here, you can still search their profile and you will still be able to type in their first name, last name or anything you like. Now, what do you do when you cannot find that little magnifying glass icon and it's not shown under the three dotted menu? Well, there's still a way to retrieve information from a profile like this. You will just need to find a user ID, apply the base64 JSON technique, which is explained to you in a blog by Ocean Curious, which will be in the show notes under this video. And we're also going to be using the Sawdust tool. The link to the Sawdust tool will also be in the show notes under this video. So we first need to retrieve the user ID of this specific profile, which can be found in the source code. Open up the source code and search for the word user ID. The user ID will be right here. We're going to be copying the user ID, opening the Saldus tool, and we're going to be searching for posts, specifically posts by a specific profile. We're going to be pasting the entity ID here. We're going to be adding the filter, which will be shown right here. And now we can type in the keywords, just like we did in the search bar on a profile. We're going to be opening up the URL in a new window. And now you see you were still able to find information of a private Facebook profile. You can use this technique or you can just try to type in the first and last name of the profile you're looking for in the search bar on the top left, select the category posts and select the category filter posts from and type in the name of the profile you're looking for. You will still be able to find some public information about that specific profile, of course, if there is any. We've now taken a look to find any public posts, but you can also look at finding public photos. So we see this profile here. It only displays one photo. We're going to be using this Facebook search bar. Type in the name of the profile we're looking for. Selecting the category photos. Select the category posts by, type in the name of the profile you're looking for. So now you can see there were more photos available than the one photo that was shown on the profile. If you're interested to know where the photo was posted that is shown in this overview, click on the photo, right click with your mouse on the date and choose to open a new tab. You will now see the page where the photo was originally posted by the profile you're interested in. 
Another cool thing about the photo search in Facebook is that you are able to search for any text mentioned in a photo. It doesn't necessarily have to be in the comments or in the description of the photo. So we're going to search for Ocean Curious, going to the photo section. We're going to click on see all to see all of the results. And for example, this result will have the actual text OSINT CURIOUS right here in the photo. It's not in the description of the photo, it's in the photo. So for example, you can use any username, email address, license plate, phone number or whatever to search in the photo section to see if there are any photos containing that specific text you're looking for. Another thing that can be really interesting is finding out to which Facebook groups a Facebook profile is a member of. And this is something you cannot find out by just clicking around on the profile or using the search bar. You will need a specific technique in order to do this. In this blog by Dan Nemec, he explains to you how you can do this exactly by using a tool called Postman. The link to this blog will be displayed in the show notes of this video. Because we won't have time to dive into this technique during this video, I'm going to show you a Google Chrome add-on which does the same. I want to warn you, if you're going to be using this specific Chrome add-on, my profile has been uh, temporarily banned or permanently banned multiple times by using this tool too much. So choose wisely when you want to execute this specific tool. So this is a specific Chrome add-on I'm talking about. It's called the Multiple Tools for Facebook. Once you have installed this add-on in Chrome, make sure that you're logged into your Facebook profile in order to use this add-on. Well, once installed and you open it, this is what it looks like. We're going to be choosing the tools in the left side menu, and you will be choosing the group scanner. In order to execute the group scanner, you will need the user ID or the profile ID of the profile you're looking into. So we're going to be using Mark Zuckerberg as an example, and his user ID is the number four. We're going to be entering the number four here in the search bar, click on search, and you will be able to see which groups he is a member of or an admin of. You can click on the title of the group and it will open up the specific Facebook group and you will be able to see if there's anything interesting in there for you. If no friends are shown at the Facebook profile you're looking into, but you know somebody who's close to your target, which has an open friend list, it can be very interesting to do the mutual friends check. You will need this specific URL. You will need two user IDs, one of the profile you're looking into, which might be private, and the other one of somebody who might be close to your target, which has an open friends list. Fill in the user IDs use this specific URL and see if there might be any friends they have in common. If the profile you're looking into goes by a specific username, it can sometimes be interesting to search for this username in any username search engines. For example, what's my name.app. This might not give you any information on Facebook itself, but it might give you information of this specific user on other profile related websites. If there are any pictures displayed on the profile you're looking into, it can be quite interesting to do a reverse image search. If you're not familiar with this technique, there's an OSINT Curious 10 minute tip video on how to do reverse image searching. And this is the end of the video. If you have any questions or you want to read through what I've just been telling you in the video, make sure to check out our blog on osintcurio.us and give us a follow on Twitter or on YouTube. And of course, don't forget, stay so curious.